I am here with Jens Huser. He is the lead project manager for this beautiful AMG EQE SUV. I want to start off asking you, the motto of AMG, one man, one engine. What happens now that there is no engine? This is all electric. There are even two engines. Yeah, and I think, yes, out of the heritage, it was really that engine. But the overall package, I think that's what our customer really excites. And here we have one which really will excite the customer. You have the performance, you have the dynamics, you have the sound, you have the exterior design, you have the interior design. And I think the people, yes, they will miss a little bit from that small heritage, but in the end, they will be more than be delighted for what the product is and brings to the road. Well, tell me about those electric motors and how they get a power boost to really go coincide with that AMG performance and power yeah. Uh, yeah. brand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they are two and they are really AMG specific. We develop them to the targets we have in the front, in the rear, to give you an overall performance of up to 505 kilowatts if you have the dynamic class package. So this is 687 horsepower. We will accelerate that car in three and a half seconds from zero to 100 kilometers. Who needs to go that fast? No, you can and you will. It, I mean, the race start is like so breathtaking. You have a thousand newton meter. I mean, that's, I don't know, in pounds, was it 737 pounds actually? So it's, it's really breathtaking and it's it's so so much fun you, if you drive it, if you feel it, if you got the sound into your ears, if you have the popometer which gives you the feedback from the street and you, you will love it, you will just love it. Now when you talk about the styling of it, because this is different, this is yep. AMG styling cues compared, compared to the regular EQE, walk me through the front end because the front end has sort of hints of you know a, right. an internal combustion engine uh, but there is none here and of course no you're, you're absolutely right and 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 what what stands for amg it's for for sure it's always our front grill here with, with our logo and in addition our stripes here and and on on the eqe suv we have it even in a more contour to to give you really that feeling for an suv like car and also in, in, in the lower section here we, we have the elements which come in black chrome to give you really this stand or what stands for dynamic for for luxury performance and we give this for the car you have the intake here that would, which goes into an airflow which is smoothly going around the car and makes it very efficient and, and makes it also very dynamic yeah, so that you're not squirreling the air around. And new badging up here as well. Yeah. We are very proud and it's for the EVs. It's the first time we use it. It's our Affalderbach logo. Yeah, and it will find its way into all our models. But we are proud that with this one, we are the first one in the row. Now there is no front trunk in here. Um, that's common for the vehicles that you've Correct. done. There's uh, instead just if you want to Put your wiper fluid in. Oh, there we go. Yeah, There's there a little go. spot here for your wiper right. fluid. That is, that is quite cool. Uh, and that's on both vehicles. Talk to me about some of the other performance features, including the wheels on this vehicle. Let's start with the one what you just opened. Mm. It says Formatic Plus. So we are always in full variable all-wheel drive. So, and with this, you get actually the, the performance expectation into a chassis. And we are always on an air suspension. We are fully adaptive damping on a car. And we have always a nine degree rear angle steering. And with this, you already get a very, very precise chassis setup that you have the steering feeling, the braking feeling, but you always have the vehicle under right control. In addition, and that's really specific on the SUV, we have the electronically body damping in the car. So we can now control left and right side by a split torsion bar with an electric motor in it, and you can make one side uh, softer, the other one harder, or if the overall uh, vehicle should be very rigid to the road, you, you twist both into, into tight position, and then you have 
virtually really small body movement. And with this, you get this AMG dynamic driving feeling into so the car. So it feels like uh, the, the yeah, original yeah. V8 and, and, engine. And, and you make it efficient in a way that, that you have always the surface optimized for aero. And here in that car, you even have a ceramic brake in the front, which you can get as an option. Okay. Yeah. Now coming around the rear, are there any distinct um, features? Yeah, on the side, before we come to the rear, we have actually our, we, we say, body color claddings. Uh, that, that's in, in the engineering terms. But uh, con in contrast to the serial colleagues, it's in body color and it, it makes more this luxury performance mm. feeling we want to have. And I think it, it fits very well to the car. And, and if we go to the rear in itself, for sure, we have always our AMG batching uh, on, on the car. And you have in the lower section, you have here these so-called diffusers we have to make it more robust standing on the street. We have also three instead of two from the serial colleagues to give the car also from the back, the stand that, that the guy driving behind said, hey, cool, it's an AMG driving in front of me. Yeah, yeah. it's no ordinary EQE, that's for sure. No. Let's talk about the inside and some of the features like the sound, because sound is very, very important when it comes to an AMG product. Absolutely right. And, and the technology is, is not giving that sound from its nature of the technology, like a combustion engine. So we have our AMG sound experience. So we have two here. One is, and if you want to enter the car, feel free. So we have two sound worlds. One is authentic which comes always with the car. And the other one, if you have the Dynamic Plus package, is then the performance sound. So on what you see here, a little bit here in the background, is the air suspension, which pumps itself up. Yeah. So if we switch here, for example, into the Sport Plus mode, you get the strong sort of impression, hey, that it's, I'm waiting to explode. And, and we, we give this sound not only inside, we also give that sound on the outside. We have a separate speaker on the outside of the vehicle also to tell your surrounding, hey, I'm an AMG and I have power and I can let that power explode. So you, you can switch between the different drive programs. We have five different drive programs. It's slippery, it's comfort, it's sport, it's sport plus, and it's individual. And you can configure these in all ways you want to do. You, you can have on, on the other side of the steering wheel a switch, which you basically, yeah, you, you can put different parameters on it, uh, either whatever suspension, sound, there are really various adjustments you can do and every driver will find his personal setup to be the perfect setup for him. And we are all individual and one wants to drive very comfortable and then go directly to Sport Plus or the other one wants to go from comfortable to individual and he configures in a way which is his way to drive. And whenever he comes back to the car, he finds it again. <laughs> so what, what else can we talk about? Oh, we, oh, we, we shouldn't forget our very nice watch. Mm, yes, mm. how do we get to do, the watch? Do you find yes, the watch? Yes, yes. Where is the watch? Ah, AMG performance. performance. You see, we have the energy flow, the mm -hmm. drive of the motors, where you can see what's, how the system is reacting. The, and the, the battery vehicle, runs yeah, right along the, the bottom is, of the floor to save the, space. The vehicle, correct. And then you come to the point mm. IWC. <laughs> we have a new interpretation of an of a analog watch in a brand new car as a digital watch. And I think we should take a picture of it. You can use that IVC digital analog watch as a stopwatch. And it looks very nice, I have to admit. So yeah, it's a nice gimmick.
Beautiful, beautiful, and you know, and even the ambient lighting here, you can change it to all different colors of the rainbow as well, uh, and different styling, you know, more sporty inside yeah. compared to the regular EQE. It's our own specific steering wheel. With the Alcantara, mm. the flat it's bottom, and of course you have to have the AMG uh, logos throughout, because this is no ordinary vehicle. No. And it's not driving ordinary. <laughs> That's right. It's not. Well, I can't <laughs> Looks wait. Looks exciting. Driving exciting. It's an exciting car. <laughs> I can't wait to drive it. Uh, so this is going to be on sale actually in uh, another year. This is 2024 model and it rolls off of the line in Germany. What happens to your... No, that car is actually rolling off the line in America, oh, yes. in Tuscaloosa. Yes. So it's not so far away from the Canadian and American customers. <laughs> and now what happens though with the AMG plant? With the AMG plant, I mean, we have so many future projects. I can tell you, we will have everybody on deck and working even into the future with more power than we did before. So there is uh, still a place for the internal combustion engine moving forward? For quite a time, yes. Yeah. I mean, the long-term strategy is fully electric, but until we have all fully electric, it takes some time and, and we will have more work to do than ever before, I can tell you. So we will have all people on board and, and bringing AMG forward. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.